Okay, so the time period is equal to 2 pi times square root L over G. L is the length of the rod, G is the acceleration of gravity. So therefore, L should be equal to GT squared over 4 pi squared. We know G is equal to 9.8 meter per second squared, and the time period should be equal to 1 second. Since in the question, we're saying that we want to make the pendulum swing back and forth each second. So therefore, the time period should be 1 second. And therefore, we can determine the length of the rod. So L can be equal to 9.8 meter per second squared times 1.0 second squared over 4 pi squared. And this will give us the length of the rod is about 0 0.25 meter. And for the next question, so the rod, uh, the length of the rod should be longer. Okay, if you if you try to include the mass of the rod in the calculations. Why is because um, if you include the mass of the rods, you raise the center of mass of the rod ball system closer to the pivot point. Okay, so therefore the period will be decreased. So in order to keep the period the same, the length of the rod should be longer. Okay, and uh, these are my answers for this question.